still citizen con. And finally, reaching the ship that is furthest along in the pipeline, which is the Aegis Redeemer, which is pretty much at the end of final art and into the release prep phase, which is what we Man, call the Redeemer. final phase. This is taking the final asset and making it game release ready. So there's a lot of down. It's crazy. Uh, like, it's like, it's like, it's like they put <laughs> as much guns as possible on this ship, bro. Like turrets. These look like size threes or fours i don't think these are fours i think these are size threes these these were size fours that would be scary that's like four size fours that's scary and they're all forward facing right now forward facing forward facing forward facing so the pilot i believe will have access to the front smaller turret and then um, a gunner will take over the bottom one, but I wonder if the pilot can actually slave this if nobody's in that seat. I think it'll make sense to do it that way, but we'll have to see. Um, I'm loving redeemed, this ship, which is pretty much at the end of final art and into the release prep phase, which is what we call the final phase. This is taking the final asset and making it game release ready. So there's a lot of downstream tech. Uh, hold on, hold on. This looks like a new gun. Like, what gun is this? Is this is this the? Uh, it looks like it's a repeater too. This looks like a new gun, right? These are these are the the, the M five A's. So these are the size two, or the M four A's. These are like the size two um, cannons, right? This this looks like size three or size fours, man. And it's a repeater and it looks like it could be a bearing repeater does bearing have repeaters right now i don't think they do yo papa what's going on bro how you been hmm. game release ready so there's a lot of downstream tech uh, and uh, vfx audio ui support that goes on top of that pristine final art state silhouette wise it still has those famous nutcrackers Okay, so it's the same as a Crusader Ares size seven, but four or five. So then they're they're the repeaters then, right, Kiwi? I'm assuming they're repeaters. I didn't know that the iron was gonna have a repeater. That's cool. That, I like that. The wings. This is cool. We hardened up some of the smooth edges, so there's a bit more angular folds in it. We changed the tail. I sort of just stretched the body to balance the proportions because it was. Oh a man, and they got guns at the back. Oh, that's crazy, bro. This is a true gunship. Originally, it was a three person dropship gunship hybrid and featured in Squadron 42 in sort of a, a very minor dropship role. But over time, the needs for that dropship in Squadron evolved and it wasn't suitable for that anymore. So we had the Vanguard Hoplite take its place and then ultimately the Valkyrie. We looked at the stats of the weapons at the really time cool. versus really cool. the ships that were there and they all got upgraded, upsized, moved around. Uh, so now it is a full... Yeah, El Papa, I'm doing good. Yeah, it does. I think, Kiwi, I think you're right. I think, I think those are new repeaters coming in along with the size sevens for the for for bearing i believe so the uh, the redeemer i feel like it's going to be a solid ship it's going to be a dangerous ship to fight um especially fully crewed there's a there's a lot of firepower that comes with it and um i feel like it's going to be vanguard in terms of the armor like the warden um it's going to be tanky like the warden I'm, I'm curious to see what kind of shield gen it's going to have. If it's going to have a size 3 shield generator, that's going to be really powerful. It's going to be OP, but if it's going to have a size 2, um, then it's going to be okay. It's going to fit in that realm of um, the Vanguard uh, series. But uh, we'll have to see what kind place, of components the Valkyrie. they're, they're going to be giving us. We looked this. at the stats of the weapons at the time versus the ships that were there and they all got upgraded upsized moved around uh, so now it is a four person gunship and being a four person Oof. gunship requires some quite beefy components so it's trying to fit all these things on this chassis Ooh. keeping Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. this is beautiful a four person gunship it is so these are two seats right here let's roll this back 
What, what do you mean there, dismiss? And they all got upgraded, upsized, moved around. Uh, so now it is a four-person gunship. The two seats, one, two. Man, this is a long ship too. And being a four-person right. gunship. And then these are the two circular objects. I'm not. I'm not sure what those are meant to be. I'm not. Maybe they're meant to be like shield generators, but it looks really cool. I like the fact that they animate from the from the inside. I wonder if they actually animate from the outside. Requires but that looks really cool. Components. Look at that. See that? See how that was moving? Ship. And being Look a four-person gunship requires some quite that big is so components. Cool. So it's trying Use to fit all these things on six. this chassis, keeping its sort of quite iconic look. Fitting it all this ship is bigger than I thought. By far real. the biggest challenge of the production. Yo, this thing's huge. This is way bigger than the Vanguard. Damn. Those are stealth engine drives? Really? Yo, Jonathan, what's going on? Stealth engine drives. Like, how is that going to affect gameplay? Is that, is that going to do anything? We think we've been quite faithful to that original design, both visually and gameplay wise and we look forward to people playing it later in the year